I don't know where to begin. All I know is that I need to do this, to clear my mind and to share. Whether one person connects with this or many, I don't think it matters, but writing and saying this matters to me. I guess I'm fortunate not to have suffered a lot of loss so far. My family is small, but what I did learn on the death of my father was that grief never leaves you. What time has passed, the world carries on, but you don't. I miss this dog, this floppy-eared and doe-eyed springer. I see it out of the corner of my eye as I pass the house windows, catch the stealing cat food tins and delicately easing out the rest of the contents into her ever-hungry tummy. I see her curled up asleep with Billy, but she's not really there. It all started to go wrong last winter. She ate something that she shouldn't and it got stuck firmly inside. After hours of surgery, we were lucky to get her home. When it happened again a few months ago, we were not so lucky. Neville misses her. She was his playmate. The only dog in the house was up for a bit of rough and tumble. Billy knows she has gone. He looks at me inquiringly as if to say, where is she? Matilda misses her best friend. Blue used to drag Matilda round by her wrist. Her oh so soft mouth clasping gently onto small Tilly's wrist, coaxing her in whichever direction she wanted to go. If we ignored her, she'd tug onto our clothing and lean into us. Soft brown eyes begging to be heard. She always was. Blue was adored by all. She made puppies for us, loved and cared for them. She was the house mother to any pup that came her way. It didn't matter if they were hers or not. She slept snoring on Matilda's bed. I'd walk in the morning and find Tilly there, fast asleep in the furthest corner. Blue stretched out snoring, claiming most of the duvet for her own. Richard loved her. He is not one to talk about these things, but he has said goodnight to Blue to an empty bed. I know she is there and listening to me. I just know it. And I want her to know how much every moment of her being with us meant. I just wish to God she hadn't died alone at the vet. Why couldn't we have just at least been there? She must have just faded away. Strength ebbing out of her. We weren't there. The worst thing, and I've not been able to write or say this so far, was that she was pregnant. And a litter of tiny pups died alongside her. I just don't have the words to describe this feeling.